Hey everybody, it's Thursday on The Breakfast Club and it is JJ Talks and I apologize for last week. Unfortunately, my laptop is terrible and the microphone just crapped out on me. Um, but I'm using my camera now, which is a lot nicer quality obviously, and it has a mic on it so it should be fine. Crossing my fingers. Okay, so this week we're talking about something fairly interesting in my opinion, which is like the Civil War of the United States. I have agreements in certain areas and disagreements in other areas. I'm gonna start by responding to something Paul said, which is that he's not gonna talk about the logistics of it because that's just too big of an issue and like you don't even wanna touch that right now. And I agree and I'm not going to touch that because logistically speaking, it would be pretty much impossible. Like unless, there's no way it could peacefully happen, essentially. Um, Something I wanted to address that I think brought kind of brought up was like the left and the right and the different societies that they want to have and like how they're too like when we talk about the constitution um, we seem to be getting two completely different things from it and I would agree to some extent but I would also point out that like I have some liberal friends whom I agree with on much because I am very liberal but there are some anti-establishment conservative friends that I agree with more on certain issues than my establishment Democrat friends. Like, I have establishment Democrat friends that hate Bernie Sanders and they're like, oh, the status quo is great and we're going to keep it like it is and Obama is God and it's like, I don't feel that way. Um, and I disagree with them just as drastically as I disagree with my classic conservative friends. Um, so, you know, you've seen that political compass chart, right? So those are kind of like... A little bit a little bit like the different areas that I'm talking about so I think there's at least four major parties in the United States um, and that's something to consider so I don't think it's just two now believe it or not I will agree that ideally we could have different states that did divide divide it up and like I get what Paul's saying, and I get that, like, like, to me, the concept of borders is crazy because, like, we're these little tiny monkeys on a floating rock in this vast universe. Like, who, who the fuck gets to come up with borders, right? Like, we're drawing lines on this damn rock, and I, I, I get it. The problem is people want different things from life, and... I, for one, think healthcare is a right, and I am perfectly happy paying extra taxes if that means um, that poorer families can have healthcare, or access to healthcare, or better healthcare. That's perfectly fine with me. Someone who's conservative might feel like they shouldn't have to pay for someone else's healthcare. Now, like, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say these are two valid opinions. Obviously, I agree with one and not the other at all, but I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say these are two valid opinions. And... I think the flaw in what Paul is talking about in his video is that what Paul talks about, he's basically operating in, under the assumption that like your political views don't affect your way of life. And I, that's kind of what I got from it. So I don't want to like put words in his mouth, but essentially he was saying like, you know, we all need to come together and we need to be united, not divided. And like, I, it was, so let's say we did divide up. Okay. And let's say I lived in California and you lived in Texas and in California I paid higher taxes and we had free health care and in Texas you had private health care and you had low taxes um, I can love my friends from Texas but not choose to live there right like just because we want different things from life doesn't mean that we have to hate each other or like we're behind these borders and we we aren't coming together and that's that's not what it seems like to me to me I feel like if we could do this basically would mean that like people could have the life that they want you go to a state where weed is legal you know go to a state where abortion is legal go to a state where gay marriage is legal go to a state where you know um transgender health care is far easier to access and like so to me it's not like it wouldn't divide us like and we're not allowed to be friends with each other and these are the other people and I mean on some respects that could be what happens but I think to me it's more like okay my friend who doesn't believe in free health care can live in this state and I'll live in this state and I'll get what I want from life and I won't have to even worry about health care because we're all on the same page so like 
the lack of health care I'm just using this as like a fixed example because there's 10,000 examples of things that people disagree on right so this is just my example so like the lack of health care leads to people dying like there was that magazine uh, fest zine fest uh, creator who from Texas I think who died of diabetes because he couldn't afford more insulin like this isn't like I, f I felt like what Paul was saying was trivializing the gravity of some of these arguments. It's not just about, oh, we need to overcome our opinions and come together. It's about like, I want to live in a state where I know that people can survive and that people are willing to, to support a system that helps poor people survive. And like, that's not just something that I'm willing to be like, oh yeah, that's totally okay, I'm not gonna fight for that. Like, now the problem with this is like, obviously the logistics, let's just start there. The second problem is it would be totally unfair to people who can't afford to move, right? So like, in my ideal world, there's a ton of different places who have, I mean like in my ideal world, everyone's a liberal, obviously, but like in my ideal world, that's not that. Um, there are every different place, maybe different states, maybe different countries have different policies and different standards that you can live in, blah, blah, blah. And people get to choose where they live and it's not expensive to move somewhere and you can move to another state for free if you want to. You want to move from California to Texas or Texas to California, it should be free because what you do is you stick poor people in states um, if we were to divide up that they don't want to be in or policies that they don't agree with and then like especially if they get stuck in a conservative state it's going to be like this constant cycle of getting more and more impoverished and then they'll never get out and that's not fair right so if people were given the ability to move freely from state to state and the financial support to do so I honestly would be completely fine with having divided states Please go away. To me, it doesn't feel like it's a matter of like hating other humans and like I don't have to hate another human and like be in a different area than them. Like, like we can have we can agree to disagree essentially, and I can I just I don't have that feeling of like having different areas with different policies divides us. You know what I mean? Because people want different things from life, and I think it's okay to have different geographical locations that cater to that. Um, Obviously, there's a whole lot of logistical issues and like human rights issues because obviously we don't want to like let the Holocaust happen in a certain country again and like be like, oh, that's their policy. So it's it's difficult, but um, that's just my opinion. I know that was kind of rambly, so I'm really sorry, but um, hopefully you got something out of it. And Kazuma's up next, and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.